Now we'll uh, get into the asana practice. So here uh, in the next practice, it's uh, once again we'll do Ekapadasana, but in this variation we will uh, going to stretch the thighs exactly here. It should come to Ekapadasana position. You see same uh, Surya Namaskara key points, whatever uh, we did uh, till these days, we should follow all the key points of uh, e Ekapadasana. From Ekapadasana, you see, if your left foot is front, you should place your right palm on the floor and then throughout the practice, you should keep on pushing your weights down. This is very much important part here. You should push your weights and then just you should release your, you should fold your right leg and you should release your left hand and try to catch hold your feet. This is sufficient. But throughout the practice, you should keep on pushing your weights down. Usually what happens, if you feel difficulty to catch hold your feet, will rise the waist and be doing like this. It's okay if you can rise your, uh, if you are rising your waist up, but once you rise your waist and hold the feet, then focus on pushing your waist down again. The pushing your waist is very much important here, and then you should stay in this position. This is sufficient. And third practice, you should focus on, third the practice, you should focus on stretch off here. Okay, when well, uh, getting into the practice, you can uh, take your left leg front and right leg back. Slowly uh, come to the position. Follow all the key points of Ekapadasana. From Ekapadasana, now if your left leg is front, place your right thumb on the floor. And you can manage to push your waist and fold your right leg and then catch hold your right foot. That's good. Once you hold your feet, Push your waist down and stay in the position. This is sufficient. Keep on pushing your waist down. Breathe. One, two, three. You can close your eyes and feel the stretch at your thigh. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then now apply some effort and push your, pull your heel closer to your hip. Do as much as you can, but don't lift your waist. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now slowly stretch your right leg forward. Now interchange your leg positions. You can take your left leg back and right leg front. If you want relaxation, you can relax for a few minutes and then you should get into the next position. From Ekapadasana, push your waist down. When you have right leg is front, you should place your left palm on the floor. Now by pushing your waist down, just release your right hand and catch over at your left feet and foot and say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Apply some pressure. Eleven, twelve, pull your leg. 13, don't disturb the position of waist. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Slowly release. And stretch your legs forward and relax in the shipilla dandasana. Keep your legs apart. Put your head back, close your eyes and relax. Just relax your thighs.
the complete awareness once inhale deeply and then slow exhalation with few blinks slowly open your eyes now next practice called uh, Chaturanga Asana in the uh, last uh, week in the previous class we did like this placing knees on the floor and palms up both the sides of the chest well uh, I mean in shoulder level you should bring your chest right your palms and then we folded elbows 9 degree and we are looking forward the same practice but today try to lift your knees and stay in a position ok you should bring your chest right your palms you should fold your elbows and use your arm strength use the strength of your triceps and then you should lift your knees stay in a position for 20 counts ok now we will get into the practice first place your palms on the floor come on your knees and then bring your chest strike your palms now slowly fold your elbows and then slowly lift your knees up and stay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 you can place your knees on the floor slowly come up and you can sit in Vajrasana and relax your shoulders and biceps awareness once inhale breathing and then slow exhalation with few blinks slowly open your eyes if you can manage to do this uh, chakrana dandasana for 20 counts continuously that's good if you feel difficulty you can uh, do it for 10 times and relax for a while and then you can go for uh, go for a second round and you okay. next is uh, Ardhana Sendrasana In the next practice, you should just fold your right leg and place it below your left hip like this. Okay, you can uh, initially you can take support of your heel to your head. Okay, if, the, if you take it away, there may be chance of getting imbalance. So initially you can uh, do it this way. Later on, if you can manage to take your heel away and place your hips on the floor and do this practice. That's good. But initially, support your hip by folding your right leg by taking support of the heel. And then, you should fold your left leg and place it next to your right knee. And then, you should place your left palm on the floor. And then, you should release. You should lift your right hand up. And then, as you exhale, you should twist. And then, same thing as Vakrasana. You should minimize the gap between your shoulder and your leg and then <coughs> initially you can just work on twisting, this is sufficient. Okay, only if you can manage then try to cover, you can use support of the, take support of the arm and then try to catch hold at your feet and then you should open up your chest, look back and stay in a position. Usually our chest will become like this. You should try to lengthen your spine, open up your chest, look back and stay in the position. This will be the posture. Uh, we can we'll do it together. First from the Nasana and then fold your right leg and take it below the left and fold your left leg. Place the left foot next to your right knee. Now left hand, strike your spine. Now lift your right hand up from your right hand. 
twist if it is possible catch hold at your feet and try to place your feet on the floor lengthen your spine expand your chest turn your face to the left and stay in the position one two three four five six seven eight nine you can close your eyes and feel that okay? 10 11 12 13 14 15 keep on breathing 16 17 18 19 20 slowly lift your right hand up as you need <coughs> exhale and slowly stretch your legs forward relax your shoulder and ask your legs apart if you head back close your eyes Just relax your waist and abdominal region. <coughs> With complete awareness, once inhale deeply and then slow exhalation. With few minutes, slowly open your eyes. Now, you do the opposite side. First, hold your left leg and take it to the right. And place your right foot next to your left knee. Place your right arm, strike your spine. Lift your left hand up as you inhale. Now, slowly try to twist and minimize the gap between your shoulder and your leg. You can take support of the other hand. You can manage to hold at your feet. Hold. Lengthen your spine. Open up your chest. Turn your face to the right and stay in the position. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now lift your left hand up as you inhale. Exhale. Now switch your legs forward and relax and shake your last one. Just relax your body, especially relax your waist region.
by taking support of your elbows, lift your back and try to extrapolate that down the flow. Open up your chest and be in a position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, breathe normally, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. My knees are on your elbows, so after the posture. And relax for a while. Keep your legs apart, hands away from the body, eyes should be closed. And relax. Hands away from the body. 
palm should be facing upward, eyes should be closed tightly. Just loosen your whole body, loosen all the muscles. Just hand on your mind. Thank you. 